This is the wheel of an Emelunga Classic Edge or uh, Emelunga Mondial Duo. And uh, today we're going to show you some of the basic disassembly of the wheel, uh, meaning basically the central elements of it. Um, we're not going to deal with the tire and the inner tube today, as we've done that in several videos. Uh, but if you have trouble with the locking mechanism, the wheel won't lock in place. Uh, it could be that some of the elements inside this are broken. Uh, so I'll show that first, because you don't have to take out the entire central piece in order to uh, open up the locking mechanism. So on top of this is a cap, and that cap has a lip here, uh, whereas the underside part is further in. And this allows you to remove that cap with a hammer. You just uh, carefully balance it on those spokes and you can pop it up and it'll pop right off. In here you can see how the mechanism works. So this wire here is acting like a spring and it pushes this down. And I'll show you that. You can lift up this wire here, just pull it right out of that hole. That allows you to take this entire piece out. If you need to switch the wire, that's what's broken. So you just pull it out like that. So as this slides down, when it's lower, you see that this larger circle then would be in place with the shaft and the axle can then push through this and the axle has a groove as most axles do. So that when the spring bounces it back up into place, this uh, smaller um, dip locks in around the axle. So this piece can sometimes break Sometimes it's the spring. It can actually often be this piece as well here, uh, right here where the spring goes into this hole. Uh, so this is in any case how you access these parts. And I'll put it back together, but uh, if you need to replace this part, uh, that has to do with what I'm gonna be showing you now shortly. Uh, reassembly of the locking mechanism then. Um, you just slot this little peg side of the wire down into there, a little hole. And then with uh, the longer lip of this piece facing upwards, you can slide the wire bit into this hole. And then it, it just twists into place. And then just fit the whole thing in there. You might have to hold this wire here in place as you do so. No. Take the cap, there's that little slit or slot, and it just fits in right like that. Get it over, and then just depress in the button as you push. And then it's a matter of pushing hard enough to clip it in place. If you wind up having to use a hammer for this, you gotta be careful. You can break all of these plastic pieces relatively easily. Uh, but provided you get this cap kind of evenly spaced at first, and then kind of press it down evenly on all sides, it does kind of click into place. Okay, so to remove the entire locking mechanism and thus also access the ball bearings, you're going to need to flip the wheel on its back. Uh, this is a newer wheel, and you'll see that uh, in addition to these two crescents here, which are uh, the compressing end of that entire central piece. Uh, below that is a ring. Uh, now if you have an older wheel, you won't have that additional ring on there. Um, okay, in order to remove this, I have found the easiest way to be to actually hammer it carefully such that these two pieces compress in towards each other and go down into uh, the central ring. Now, if you have a wheel that uh, you've used for a while, you certainly would want to lubricate it a bit first. Uh, some WD-40 uh, would be ideal. And uh, you wanna be careful with the hammering as well. Uh, it is possible to break these pieces, so if you break yours, and this is my disclaimer. But you're gonna wanna hold the wheel so that uh, you have, of course, room for the bottom end to pop out. Uh, usually I'd use my knees, in this case I'm using the edge of a table and we're just gonna smack it pretty precisely right in the middle. There we go. Ring came out. This piece popped all the way to here and actually took the bottom ball bearing with it. Uh, now I just wiggle it until I get those out. Uh, if this is difficult for you, you can get a, a pair of needle nose pliers and reach down through the other end and uh, compress those pieces. There pulled right out. Uh, you can see the lips are still intact. Uh, that, again, if it's 
lubricated enough, then it's uh, it's not too hard just to pull it out this way. If you have something that you think the plastic is uh, too old and brittle, or you think that there's uh, maybe too much rust inside or something, then you're going to need to uh, work at it a bit more so that you don't bust these plastic uh, lips. If uh, this is a piece you're keeping in any case. Uh, this did take the uh, inner ball bearing with it, which is fine, but I'll just show you how you go about removing these ball bearings in case that's what you need to replace. You just need a um, flathead screwdriver and you're just going to get it under and work your way around. Because it's sitting in a metal shaft, uh, it doesn't just pop right out. You do have to wiggle it out a little bit at a time around the circle. go and there you have it the ball bearing as well okay reassembly of course just smack that ball bearing back in and then just going to insert the shaft and of course it has to pinch a little bit to get in line it up and just smack it back into place Be careful with the ball bearings so that they don't break. There we go. And at the end, you just reapply that little lip. So that's how you disassemble the wheel of an Emlinger Classic Edge uh, Duo or Mondial Duo. Uh, in relation to the central part of the rim. We hope this video has been useful to you, and if it has been, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.